Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're doing our regular playthrough from the Sentinel update that we've had recently. So, um, yeah, so we're we're going to be bringing some bad news to Artemis in this episode. We're picking up right where we left off, and we're going to go ahead and take off from here, go check it out, and see what he has to say because he's not going to be very pleased with the news he's about to find out. You know, before we get going, one thing you can learn to do here is... Uh, what kind of a name for a ship is recovered? <clears throat> Honestly. So let's go ahead and get rid of this name. I'm going to rename it. On Paul's... Uh, let's see. What do we name this? The Elon Paul's... Uh, kind of a fighter. Uh, fighter. Sentinel fighter? Um, you know, my mind has gone completely blank. Personal Vendetta. How about that? Elon Paul's verse Personal Vendetta. That's what we'll call it. Very nice. Okay, so we got a name for our ship now. Lots of stuff on board. Lots of lots of stuff. We got lots of stuff. Um, and we'll show you how to use all this. Plus, we can get an exosuit expansion upgrade by looking for something real quick. Um, we can do this in the space station, as you're going to learn. So we won't get involved in all that right now. Blah, 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 blah. You didn't see anything. Let's go on. Gotta go up. Return to space. We're already in space. Look at that. Incoming message from Artemis. It'll it'll show up in a moment. We're having some weird issues. I think Windows has something going on in the background. Oh, unless we really did lock up here. There we go. All right, there we go. There you are. I'm buzzed. I'm gonna go past those buzz. I'm not even gonna interpret them at all. I've found high ground. I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. And tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Ask how Artemis got there. I don't think the locals are wrong. Let's ask how Artemis got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The, st the stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out and... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable growing steadily louder with each passing moment, a sound beneath their words, a sound as if glass could scream. Ask what is happening. They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveler, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind. Now, I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. I... There are seeds of glass within their... I'm gonna ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... Sixteen. Warn your face, it... Please, not yet. I'm not. The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register the ID. Your frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Creepy, right? That's the only thing. Every time I've played this through, I always get to this point. It gives you kind of chills up and down the spine a little bit. Like, look at what is going on here. All right, so we brought the news of Artemis signal. We got to bring it to Anata, as it says at the bottom left. So let's let's pull in the anomaly. It's all the way over there, but you know what? Watch this. Hey. Let's pull the big Death Star uh, eyeball, uh, whatever this thing is, into existence, otherwise known as the anomaly. Lots of things can happen here, folks. Don't forget, in the anomaly, you can do a lot of different things. All right. And we've arrived. Yeah, pretty good parking space this time. 
Now, how's my uh, exosuit doing? Alright, we do have some upgrades, so I think we can reach up there without running out of gas. Hey! Let's see what he has to say. What have you learned, Traveler? What generates Artemis Entity's signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we failed to understand Artemis' location. I explain their strange messages. Apollo and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process this information. Artemis slips between worlds into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable, small. Nada is worried, Traveler. Cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis Entity still does not remember Nada? Say they did not. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy? Apollo Entity is unknown to Nada, more puzzling still. If Traveler Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson of the, in the... Let's try this again. The rampant crimson is the work of Atlas Falsity. Other Korvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas False Entity hunts Nada, but Traveler may seek them out, draw them away. Uh, okay. Well, you give me 80 nanites and about another 150 quicksilver. Thank you for that. What does Polo have to say about it? Boundaries are strange things, Traveler friend. Most things stay where they belong. Other things, our home, Atlas, and now Artemis friend, slip between. Curious. Now, again, we can ask about any three of these, and he'll give us black hole coordinates, he'll give us Atlas station coordinates, but we're going to ask about the portals. We'll come back to those another time. Those will, those will get you into two different main storyline um, branches, if you will. Um, so you, once you're done with the whole Artemis storyline, you can come back and do the Atlas station storyline, and then you can do the black hole station storyline. And you can jump between, well, galaxies if you want. Portals. Just devices, traveler friend. To be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe, yes? Appreciate it. Okay, that's all we get from Polo. Um, so, we have quite a bit of stuff on us, I think. Uh, oh, I never opened these up, did I? Let's open them up and see what we get. See, if you hit your E button, you can open them up and see what you get. I get a suspicious shield for my exosuit, uh, which, you know what, we'll go ahead and put it up there. That's fine. What does it give us? Ah, core health, 33%. Anytime you get a core health, 33%, it adds another heart to your, to your, uh, suit. And then, of course, 10% shield strength, you know, it gives us a little extra shield strength, so that's good. I think we can... doesn't really make a difference where we put it, actually, so... Okay. All right. All right, let's check things out here. One second. All right. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to the ship. So let's check out our... See, it does a space anomaly. It stays on here, so sometimes you have to jump back and actually tell it. Hey, go back to this, please. So now we can't upgrade our exoshoot here, but we can upgrade it elsewhere. We'll do that in a little bit. And we're outside the anomaly. All right. Call contact Apollo from a hollow terminus. We're going to use C to scan for one. Hopefully, it'll find one on the moon in front of us. I like how it hits the moon, it kind of radiates around it. it says it's down here. It looks like we're going to another planet. Over there. Over there. Can we actually engage while we're next to the... Yep, we can. If you've noticed, my star lines have disappeared. That's a mod I've added to No Man's Sky. It actually makes for a much cleaner presentation, as you can see. It also helps my video card work a little less hard, so... Plus, we're getting it prepared for live streams as well. So, at the recording of this, I had a live stream coming up. All right. Approximate location. So slow down, scan, and look for anything nearby. Now, I see there was a couple of huts over there. To my mind, that seems to be too far, but we'll check it out. All right. 
Oh, see, it's like right over the other side of this, so that is likely where we're going to find it then. Let's see. The tower pops up. Yep, the tower popped up. That must be where we're going. Let's go ahead and use this little landing platform, or really landing spot, if you will. Neat little ship. Glad I got it. All right, how high up can we go with this? Okay. At least we'll go up to this platform anyway. Yep. I try to engage my jetpack while I'm in the ladder, and it won't let me. That's interesting. All right. Multiple sources activated. Okay, the tower hosts a powerful transmitter. We've already gone over this. We're going to just tune into Apollo. And, oof, right through my head. Yeah, I love that. Hey, there he is. More machine now than man. Twisted and even. No, I'm sorry. You know what that line's from. The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. How can you tell he's staring? I mean, let's be honest here. I mean... You know, yeah, there's that singular little diamond-shaped thing in the middle of his head, but that could be his eyes. I don't know. Could be his voice hole. We don't know. Let's <laughs> let's greet Apollo. I'm not going to stare back. I'm going to greet him. Identify yourself or I end this call. Say you are a friend of Artemis. No, you're not. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all? Friend. It is just a label. A pretense to make you feel better about being alone? Why are you contacting me anyway? Is Artemis behind this? I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet if I'm paid to meet. Even this conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble. That they attempted to use a portal and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world. Disappearing from the network. Apollo's demeanor changes. They appear uncomfortable at the news. Really? How can you tell he's uncomfortable and his demeanor changed? Would the lights change a little bit? I'm sorry. Shut up. I'm, I'm tearing it apart too much. Shh. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the log. Apollo studies the log, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortions. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. A glow. Now well, that makes sense. These noises, they sound just like the, the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere, if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data, it's distorted. Inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals? Perhaps they're the key. Eh, let's see. I agree or suggest life is worth more than money. Let's try the second one. I've never chose that one before. Yes, yes, probably. But if we can figure this out, we can save Artemis, too. Don't fret. Yeah, that's interesting. So, what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Accept. If you're going to work with me, we need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you a contact to a contact of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. And communication. As the hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Or perhaps it was nothing. A ghost in the machine. Okay. Always wait around an extra couple seconds, because every now and then something else pops up. <laughs> Just a little hint. All right. Uh, locate Apollo's contact. Apollo's contact will ex expand your base. Locate them on the galaxy map when in space. So that's where we're headed. Where is my ship? Down there. So if we go over here, we'll take the shortcut. Ah, but don't forget to hit your jetpack, or you will take damage. I'm inside my personal vendetta. That's the weirdest saying I think I've said in a while. And we're in space. Now, do I have... I don't think I have a base here. Do we Have we expanded our knowledge of the, the, the places here? Cobalt, I Sentinels. We have one unknown planet. But that moon has been really, really handy. But, who knows, maybe we'll come back. Really? Which planet is that? That must be that one right there. So I guess we do have one <laughs> here. That's hilarious. Uh, that would be, I guess, there. Planet Blanc 
<laughs> it's report. I forgot I named it. <laughs> That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we do have a at least a base of operations there. We'll have to remember that. All right. So let's hit our X button. Let's head to the galaxy map and see where they're taking us. Um, doesn't look like we're going very far at all. Uh, let's see. We're literally going like right there. Okay. Let me just see something here real quick. Current mission, Atlas, free explore. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. Current mission. On our merry little way. Now that uh, mod I was talking about does not affect hyperspace. So hyperspace will still do this. I'm not sure what all the jitteriness is. Something's going on, like I, I mentioned for, uh, a little bit ago. I think um, my operating system has got a little something going on in the background I'm, I'm not aware of. So who knows? We'll see. All right. Oh, we're coming out to a battle, it looks like. Yes, we are. always be hostile ships behind you. Just a little tidbit. Let's get these guys. You pirates, you! Uh, let's get you. Do not fire your rockets if they're really close. You will take damage. All right. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So this may be an opportunity to get ourselves a freighter, just as a heads up. Oh, okay. Well, these guys want to fight me close in. You notice my shields are getting low. You can recharge your shields with sodium. Uh, shield recharge batteries as well, if you happen to come across any. There we go. Ooh, he's got those on there, huh? Okay. I like to go through the wreckage and try to gather up stuff. We've got three pirates remaining. They're kind of hitting me pretty hard here. I think I'm going to do a recharge here very short shortly. Uh, let's see. Sodium? Yeah, let's use some sodium. See, with this ship, we can do more. And sooner or later, we'll get shield upgrades that'll help beef up, beef up our shields. So we take less damage. But these have powerful weapons on them. These sentinel weapons that are on here are actually pretty good. Yep, got some nanites from that guy. Try not to hit the freighters or the friendly ships if you can manage it. If they get to the point where you have a freighter behind them or a friendly ship in between, try to pause your firing. Because by shooting those, you will incur their wrath and they will think of you as just another pirate. Corvac casing. Alright, looks like we're going to survive this pretty easily. Last guy. See, I pause there. And there, just for a second, because of the freighter right behind them. Ugh, I'm getting nausea here. A little bit of vertigo. Ooh, that's a powerful little weapon he's got. If I can just get... Oi, it's all over the place. Alright, should be it. More nanites. All right, we got an emergency signal. Let's see what they have to say. Interloper Viking in request is all we can make out of that language. The life form who must be the captain of this freighter looks greatly relieved. They gesture as to as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. End communication. So let's check it out. Hey, we got a planet there. I'm going to go ahead and scan that real quick. Rocky planet, good. Let's go ahead and land at the freighter. This is actually kind of a cool looking little freighter too. I kind of like it. It's not my main style. I kind of like the Star, the Star Destroyer shaped ones, but this one looks pretty cool. So you are offered the freighter at this point as a reward if you want it for free. Freighters are very expensive, but they can become your base of operations. See, this is a C-class freighter and is really not very big. Um, 
15 plus 8. It's tiny, but don't just leave. I'm not going to accept this freighter. You get the first freighter you, you get for free. After that, you have to buy it. Um, so take this opportunity to at least meet the captain up board here. You won't understand a thing he's saying. Alien barks a loud battle cry as I approach, celebrating our victory, I hope. They gesture toward the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. Now you can inspect it and check it out. I'll show you what happens when you inspect it. It shows you what's on board. It's got some nice items on board sometimes. It's got some spaces up here, uh, hyperdrive, an interstellar scanner, things like that. Um, but again, five million, it's got a very low amount of room in here. As much as I kind of like the design and it's pretty cool looking, I'm going to leave this. So what we're going to do, we'll go through the same nonsense again. And we're, this time we're going to request a payment. Watch the payments now. We get a cargo bulkhead. We get 235 nanites. 371 gold is what we got out of this too. So not bad. Not bad at all. See? And this is worth some money. You could sell it if you want to make more units, but you know what? Probably a good idea you hang on to it because it is worth something. Um, this is worth 50000 I'm going to go ahead and be selling that soon, and I'm going to refine that into something else. On our starship now, you'll notice after the battle, I ended up with some things. Let's open them up. Looks like we got another Sentinel Boundary map. Those are handy. And a bolt caster module. What is on my multi-tool right now? Looks like we have a bolt caster. Um, that is not in any arrangement so I am going to add where to go starship that to here damage potential is 1557 1716 so what did it give me eh, not bad it's okay it's not fantastic but it's it's better than nothing so it is increasing my damage against my damage potential is not very high getting a new one of these would probably be a good idea um, one of these days. So if we find another dissident world, we'll go ahead and see if we can't get a new one. Because, yeah, this one's okay. The hijack laser alone is worth it. You know, using it instead. What else did we get? We got this, which is, uh, something we could dismantle and get some money out of. 140 units is not worth much, so if we take it, it's, oh wow, it gave us some cadmium. That is awesome. That'll give us one of our drives. Now, we can turn this and refine it into something else and get more chromatic metal out of it, but trust me, you're going to want to hang on to this. Okay, good deal. Uh, let's see. So, we've got a good amount of stuff on us right now, so let's go ahead and see Sentinel Boundary Map. Again, that's a very, very handy... So he gave us some good stuff. But before you go, take a run out into the freighter real quick and just see if you can't find any storage units. Because, yeah, you can turn on a heating unit too. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, that's very nice. Lockers and stuff. Sometimes there's stuff in them. Though none of these seem to have anything. How interesting. I've never run across that before. Okay. And these things don't have anything in them. On derelict freighters, you will find all kinds of items in those. I've never run across one like this that had uh, containers inside that didn't have anything. Very cool. What else we got on board this ship? Let's see. Got a ladder to another deck. Um, nothing. We have nothing there and nothing there. And I think this was a dead end as well, correct? Yes, it was. Let's see where the ladder goes. I'm very curious. I like to explore. Why don't you go nowhere? Oh, wow, look at that. It's a storage container. I wonder if there's anything inside. No, nothing. Wow, I wonder if it would allow us to put something in there. <laughs> That's hilarious. We shouldn't be allowed to do that. Uh, let's check the other one. Nope, nothing. And you can do this on the, sh on the ship that you get. You can actually produce storage areas like this if you want. So this doesn't have anything. Looks like we have a... Wow, okay, an outside parapet. Isn't this cool? And I don't know how I'm surviving this. It's very hilarious. Very nice, okay. Well, pretty neat, huh? Alright, down the ladder we go. Nope, nope, nope. And where's our exit? It should be over this way, I believe. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, nothing more to find here. Let's go ahead and take our little... 
add back. And our ship should be right there. There we go. Now, if other ships land here, like this guy right here, you can trade with them and talk to them a little bit and see what they've got. He's a sentinel hunter. Offer to trade. Let's see what he's got. He's got some nice stuff. Uh, we don't really need any of these right now. We will need be needing them at a later date, but we don't need them at the moment. I don't want to give too much away. And we can make an offer on a ship and everything like that if we wanted to. And that's what, that goes for anybody who lands here. Here is another one. Uh, but I'm very happy with my ship. I won't be getting anything from these guys. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Continue on with our mission. Now his contact is likely going to be on the space station. So follow the red icon there. There it is. We could pulse drive to it, but we we're literally so close it probably wouldn't, wouldn't let us anyway. So There we go. I like that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, opportunity. Opportunity presents itself on the space station. Let's go ahead and jump over here. All right, take a look around. I like to look for travelers and other entities. Sometimes you want to open up dialogue with. Yeah, nobody really here. Okay, so the guy we want is in the bar across the way. That always bodes well. He's uh, currently drinking. Uh, remember those upgrades we got? Let's go ahead and do it. Anytime you visit a new space station, if you have the cash, uh, the units to do it, upgrade. So now we've already used this unit, but because we have two extra upgrade things available to us, we can add them in. Now, while I'd love to add them in here, we are running out of room fast in our technology area. So we're going to go ahead and add them up there. And if I'm not mistaken... One of those is a supercharged slot, as you can see. So what do we put there? I'm thinking our jetpack would be a great thing there. 25, 210. Let's put it there. There we go. We'll put you over here. I think that'll give us what we need. Can we put that over there still? Over here? Yes, it really does make a difference. All right, so we got a couple upgrades to our jetpack there. Remember, we also got a multi-tool one, so we can upgrade our multi-tool... But we already know that we're going to be getting a new one at some point. So I don't really want to waste my hard-earned part here, the multi-tool expansion slot, on this tool. So let's move on. I will put it down here. Actually, let me rearrange things real fast here. Um, I like to keep all these items separate if I can. I got some glass up here I never did anything with. That's interesting. I'm going to put items down here that we use. And we're going to put these all in the same row together if possible. This is used for the ship. So I put it up higher. Uh, defense chits, huh? Interesting. And we have an exosuit upgrade chart that we can use. Um, don't we have... Yes, we do. And I need to sell that. We have Atlanta DM over here. We're going to put that in our ship. That's where it belongs anyway. Okay. See, we got plenty of it in there right now. Let's see what this glass holds for us, because it should have good stuff. Like, here we go. Quantum computers. Two of them. What else did I just get? I just got some dirty bronze. Let's put that in my inventory. Um, that is a wet weapons shard we can use on our multi-tool. Uh, let's see. Here's our weapons down here. Not weapons. Here's our weapons up here. Let me put it over there. So that is going to be very handy. What does it give us? Plus one damage. So that's good. I can put that there doesn't seem to be making any difference to the weapon at the moment, but it goes definitely with the bolt caster, so you want to use it for that. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, we got a Viking effigy, which we'll go ahead and end. You know what? We'll hang on to it for now. That's fine. Another weapon shard. We put it together. Watch the damage potential. Look at that. So 2032, right? Doesn't seem to make a difference where we put it, so we'll just keep it there for now. get one more it'll really round it out nicely I keep going there um, I don't know what we just got I think we got more pugnium 
We got an antimatter, so that's going to be handy. Lemium, I'll put that in my main ship. I don't know what it just gave me, and I don't know what that just gave me. Not really sure. Nothing really increased over here. Okay. Put this up here. Viking dagger. And that can go over here. Actually, put the tritium next to the tritium hypercluster, so I'm going to put the defense chit here. Okay, great. All right, I think we're in pretty good arrangement now. No, well, these are the same, but we're going to sell them here in just a minute. It will tell us what we got. 30 bronze, Viking effigy. Nanites. They gave us more nanites. That's what happened. Lemium. Okay, and I think that's it. Okay, so we did get more nanites out of it. So we just got to sell these things. We could sell them in the bar as well. Um, we've already been here, so I know what they've got. I'm going to keep moving. All right, here we are. Uh, looks like it's our Viking fellow over there who's going to be our contact. Uh, while we're here, though, let's grab some nanites. We, well, you know what? Let's do the first aid because health restored, it says. So we must have been down on health. Let's use the trade terminal to sell those couple of things that we picked up, like these. Oh, we're getting a plus 13.5%. That's nice. Hang on to that. You're going to need it. But get rid of the lemium and the dirty bronze. And we got more cash now. Anything we can buy? Eh, nothing really jumps out at me as something we really could use right now. We could probably use the copper, but... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab the copper. And we're going to put that over here. There we go. All right. Let's see what this guy has to uh, offer me. Secret keeper, huh? Raw interloper, you are late. You were supposed to arrive minutes ago. Minutes, go figure. Nonetheless, the price has been paid, and I have been obtained. And I have obtained the requested upgrades, new modules for your base, and protection against the elements. Where is your base sited? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? So, this is an opportunity for us to get a new protection. Okay, heat, cold, toxic, or radiation. I honestly do not recall. I don't know if I can. Let me see what happens. I don't know what I got. I don't know what he gave me because I didn't choose anything. He gave us thermal protection of the hot variety. We don't have any thermal protection at all. So this works out good for us and gives us B class. Let's go ahead and stick it in there. So again, we need to get this upgraded as soon as possible and start getting more of these uh, added in. Let me see here. Making room. That's our supercharged slot, so. I am going to see about moving this over here. Translator can go over there. There. And we'll see if that helps a little bit. There. Okay. That gives us a little more room in the uh, arrangement of stuff. All right. So he gave us some stuff. Return to your base. Use a space station teleporter to travel instantly. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, while you're here, always check out these encrypted navigation datas. Because they can give you stuff. Alright. So let's head over there. And we are going to go here. Because even though this is our current system, this is the place we want to do. The Neptune Elon Paul Colony. Um, which I think is on... A paradise planet. Yes, this is the one we want to do too. Plus, it's on the planet I renamed. So let's enjoy the ride real quick. Looks like things are starting to run a little smoother, so whatever was going on in the background. I've also transferred files over. I've done some rearranging of things and moved uh, my No Man's Sky, no Man Sky main folder to my main drive and took it off of a backup drive, so... Hopefully we'll see a little bit more stable of a run. There we go. Um, well, hello there. You are literally inside my... Um, yeah, okay, that didn't work out really well. Is there anything in here? No? Okay. Uh, where do we go? Construction terminal. 
we already had one of those, I thought. Yeah, we got a construction terminal. Did we miss something here? Did the log mess up again? Oh. Okay, gotcha. Alright, well, first things first. How many of those navigation datas do I have? 17? I think we got enough. Let's go up here and call our starship out of our home. There we go. Much better. Thank you, sir. Let's go back in. Much better. A little bit roomier in here, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so what it's looking for, if we hit the Z button, it wants us to produce this construction terminal, not that little one over there. It needs chromatic metal and pure ferrite, which I happen to both have. Um, so this, since this is going to be our base of operations here, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking this is kind of small. So why don't we expand out a little bit, shall we? Let's go to the building menu and actually just push it out a little bit. That should be good. Don't you think? Let's put a couple walls up. We can build six of them. One, two, three. We're going to probably need more carbon. Four, five, and we can build one more. Six. But here's the thing. If we do C, I can then take this one and move it. That's not where it needs to be. There we go. And take that one and move it. Get it to position properly. There we go. Now we do need to put some roofing over here. So let's uh, exit. And uh, are these guys opening? It must be daylight again. Okay, let's go ahead and get some carbon. We're going to need some. Uh, let's see. Not that. Mining beam. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Let's... Uh, check those out because they have a secondary element. Yeah, we get condensed carbon out of them, so let's not mess around with that. Okay. Those don't have any secondary elements, so it looks like we got a good amount of carbon out of them. Um, don't need you. Oh, I got a cave nearby. How nice. Got some trees all around us. I'm just trying to find where the decent place to pull from would be. Yeah, the trees don't have anything special. Inorganics. We haven't discovered the animals on this planet. Let's go ahead and check them out. See how many we got here. Uh, Eleven of them, huh? Always a good idea to check them out. Because even though this is a paradise planet, you want to know if there's any meat eaters here. See, he's a patient hunter. So there's a possibility he could attack. We have to watch for that. Because I've discovered that even on Paradise Planets, you can have attack animals every now and then. Okay. Those have a secondary element. Let's check it out. Always condensed carbon. For the most part, it's usually condensed carbon. So I'm going to gather up whatever carbon I can out of those. That has a secondary element? I didn't think it did. Okay. It was this one that didn't have a secondary element to it. Get those biologicals. And if you zoom in, sometimes you can pick up on the other animals that are in the distance. Okay. Right mouse button will help you zoom in on stuff. If you're on PC. Okay. Alright, let's head back. I think we have enough now to complete out the base renovations here. So if we do the rebuild here. I know, we're going to get to you, don't worry. We want to build that. We can hit the B. You can pull back and actually get a bird's eye view on stuff. It helps you build better. So I can build 26 of these now. There we go. Base is now complete. So let's go back inside. Look how open it is now, right? So 
So it wanted us to go here and build this construction terminal. So we can put it any which way we want. We can rotate it around. Uh, we can free place it and stuff like that. But you know what? I'm just going to corner build it right there. So now that we have a construction terminal, which we really can't do anything with, see? You need an overseer. So, hire a base overseer. The overseer will help expand your base, hire staff from space stations. So we got to go to a space station to get this done. So, which space station does it want us to go to? It looks like it's directing us straight overhead to our space station. Why travel that way when you can get there instantly? So, space stations, previous system, current system. Always look for that. you got other systems we've been to and it doesn't tell you anything about them. It tells you it's a Viking and what kind of uh, uh, economy that it's dealing with and the, and the status level of its uh, conflict in that area. So, we're going to go to the current system. And guess how quickly you get there? Pretty quick. So it might actually be the better way to go, to be honest with you. All right, so here we are at our space station. It's directing us. Strange. This guy's in the bar, too. They're obviously heavy drinkers. That's the only thing I could think of. There we go. Hey, did we go to get that one? Yes, we did. Let's head for the bar. And who is it? None other but a Gek. Gex are almost always going to be your base overseer. They seem to be the best ones to operate a base. Toil Gek Ritoa. Is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry. Everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. Yeah, strange, eh? As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me, a pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took, of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a, mo of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends, and the overseer remains. The Overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. So we can now hire the construction Overseer. There is something compelling about this Gek. They, uh, they shall feel at home in my home. I will be at my station before you know it. See you soon, friend. Take our leave. Yeah, I always thought they were a little creepy. Anything uh, we need to get rid of? No. Not really. Okay, we're okay. Let's go ahead and make our exit. And we will probably go ahead and just leave the way we came. Here we go. Journey milestone accomplished. What did we journey? Oh, we've met 10 aliens now. Congratulations. We're not alone. Okay, back to the base. And you see it says current system. On we go. Almost there. I promise. It takes a little longer to get to your base sometimes. And it put my ship inside yet again. I'm not even sure if I can get out of here this time. Really got to do something about that. We will be doing something about that. Let me just be clear. We will be doing something about that. We have to... I'm going to be wasting a lot of those. And some landing launch fuel as well. Uh, how's the launch fuel situation look? Let's see. Where are you? That's it. Yeah, we'll lose some of the pugnium on it. That'll be fine. Okay. So, we want to expand our base a little bit. We are gonna we are gonna do that, don't worry. But what, what it's saying there at the bottom right. We are going to be visiting them and all that. But we really need to, like I said, expand our base and get more stuff. I need my own landing pad. Let's start there. You will not getting a land. You will not get a landing pad as a gift from anybody, or as part of your ordeals, if you will. So you might as well do it yourself while you can. I got some sodium nitrate. I don't need the rusted metal. 
a lot of times out of those containers you get uh, life support gels you can also get um, microprocessors too so it's usually a good idea to check them hey what do you know unburied technology how are we doing on carbon 315 condensed to 335 I always like to have a really good amount of carbon on board. Okay. Alright, that should be good for now. Um, any animals we haven't... Yep, there's one there. Okay. Anybody else? Because sooner or later, you're going to want to discover all the animals. They, you get a special nanite bonus by discovering all the animals on a planet. I'm, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. Uh, since this is episode 9, I'm fairly certain I did it. And I've been doing this for weeks now, so I honestly don't remember what I've said and what I haven't. Uh, let's see. Okay. Not much else. Alright, we're looking for buried tech. Because the more we get, the better. There looks like there's one right there. Any very close by? No, that'll probably be the best bet. How much uh, tech, berry tech we got now? 30 salvage data. Um, I'm pretty sure we have enough, but I want to take the opportunity to get just a little bit more. Grass should show up. It just hasn't grown back in yet. There we go. Uh, what is this? Copper? Silver, huh? Yeah. Can't tell. It didn't look right. Oh, it's literally right underneath that plant. That's hilarious. We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. First person, my friend. Oh, I found I found a buried cache in there, too. What do you know? Let's go ahead and get out of that view. That gives us sometimes this stuff, which gave us some pure ferrite. Isn't that nice? So we got two more of that. We're up to 32. There was another one nearby I want to grab and near some broken machinery. So let's see what we can get out of that. Oh, we can get sodium nitrate now. We must have the A class. Grab stuff while you can, my friend. That's all I can say. Hey, look, unburied tech yet again. Great planet for this stuff. How many did we get? One, two, three. Okay. Not bad. That gives us 35 now. Uh, where's the broken machinery at? There it is. You can check them out every now and then. Eh, it's a weird looking ship. Because every now and then it'll give you an upgrade or some kind of technology. But most of the time it just gives you nanites. And that's okay. Nanites are helpful. Alright, we have any more animals... So if you are trying to find more animals on a planet, it's good to stop every now and then and take a look around. You can also go to Discoveries. <coughs> Pardon me. See how many you've discovered. See, we've discovered 7 out of 11 of them. Knowing that we have 4 left, we can take a look and see what they are. See, we've got underwater, 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 and underwater. So I'm looking for land-based animals. I'm not going to find any. I've got to go to the ocean to take a look. So that's all there is to it. But you saw we, got, we get quite a bit of nanites for discovering them. I'll go ahead and take these two while I'm here. Okay. Alright, let's head back to our ship. Looks like we got another piece of damaged machinery on the way. Let's go ahead and visit that. Because there might just be buried tech there. I love those mining beams from this thing. Yep, see it's right there. Okay. Second, first person view. One, two, three. Three more. That's not bad. So this guy was that meat eater we were talking about. Well, he's one of them. And he doesn't seem to be bothering us at all, so. Very interesting. He's got interesting striping on him. I don't know if you noticed that. Sorry about that. What do we get? More nanites. Like zebra striping. That's pretty cool. He's kind of a funky looking dude. Okay, good deal. Anyway. Moving on. So we are up to 38 of those pieces of machinery. We will meet with him shortly. I am going to go to the anomaly. 
this point and do a little shopping. We're almost done with our episode, so we'll spend the last 10 minutes getting things acclimated and seeing what you could spend some of these hard-earned bucks on. There we go. Pull that in. Into the giant eye we go. of space, but that'll work. And off we go. Kind of digging the red, black, and gray here. This is pretty good with a little bit of gold. It's kind of nice. Okay. Alright, so base building products are over here. You see under the construction terminal right there. But we're going to go there first. You get a lot more out of this terminal than you can get out of others. So as you're going through here, what we're interested in getting is a landing pad. So this right here it takes 10 salvage data get. We have 38, so we're going to get that. What else do we really need that we're not going to get from this? We are going to get other things from here, so I don't want to go crazy with getting a bunch of other stuff. Um, a medium refiner is very handy. And I'm going to spend the extra 10 on it because it does not require fuel to run or even power. But it's just, it's expensive to build because it takes mag magnetized ferrite and five dihydrogen jellies. But it's a lot less, it's a lot cheaper than using the larger refiner, which is even more expensive. Um, 18 more left to go. Let's take a look. We will get one of those later. I'm going to leave them alone. More of these are decorative in here chairs and stuff like that you can get so many things for your bases to build them up with folks it's just absolutely amazing um, electrically speaking um, we don't need a mineral extractor yet we'll worry about that later I would like to get the cloaking unit because it hides your wires uh, electromagnetic generator is very handy to get you're not going to get that through the missions so you might as well get it now that leaves us with seven I want to get a switch for my teleporters. So I can do a proximity switch, but my base isn't big enough for it. So I'm just going to go with a floor switch. So when you're standing there, it, you see it takes ionized cobalt. When you're standing in front of it, it will activate and then you can go through it. Otherwise, it doesn't use any power. So that's good. So we've got everything except for five. Uh, let's spend a few in here so we can get rid of all of them. Um, I like glass uh, timber frame glass panels I also like to get the smaller timber panels as well as the smaller stairs and it looks like we've used up all of them because I can't get any more so we've used up everything that we've got as far as that's concerned but we will get more stuff later um, while we're here let's upgrade our exosuit again um, again, I'm going to hold off putting stuff down there. We're going to go up here. Alright. That is not going to be a supercharged slot. There will be one down here. I want to say it's either here or here. But we'll worry about it later. You can do some exosuit research as well. I think we've showed you all this. But some of these you're going to get elsewhere. And there's no reason to really get any of these right now. Like, I will get the hazmat gauntlets through the usual stuff, and I will get a personal refiner later. We'll worry about them later on. Okay? Starship upgrades. The weapons on the starship I have are not bad, but if you can get them... Um, well, the positron ejector is more like a shotgun. Um, really good up close and does tremendous amounts of damage when you're close to another ship. Whereas the infernife accelerator is excellent even at distance. But it requires 200 phosphorus to build it. It's usually good to get these two when you can. It costs nanites, as you can see, but it's a good idea to get those as you can. The launch auto charger, you will most likely end up with at some point, uh, and then your other drives you will get as you go. This only requires chromatic metal, this requires cadmium, so it's a good thing we got some, right? Um, and you will get other things as you go along, so it's not usually needed. Don't bother upgrading your rocket launcher. It's not really needed. The rockets are already powerful enough as it is at this stage. Um, phase beam, I never found any reason to use it. 
and the same thing with the cyclotron ballista i've never found it to be a very good item to use it's up to you folks if you want it but i really like the infra knife accelerator you're not going to get it by any other means so i'm going to spend a little bit of money here nanites yeah he always says something neat and we're going to get the q resonator okay and it requires hydraulic wiring quantum computer which i now have and wiring looms so we just need phosphorus and we'll get that at another time i'm not going to worry about it right now you'll see that it adds it to your log to create these things just unpin the formula you don't need to do that okay um we have to return to the overseer so i'm going to reach select that particular item um exocraft don't bother right now same thing with these you will get stuff as you go um, this does have a weapon here if you want to check it out. A lot of times it's no better or worse than what you can get in the system. So, multi-tool research. It's got a lot of the things that you would love to have, to be honest. But, again, hold off on it. I, I can go over these weapons another time. We will do it in another episode as far as to what's really good and what isn't. Right, ne right now, your bolt caster is an excellent weapon to use. Just continue to use it. You'll be fine, trust me. Um, and there's no real upgrades for it besides what you've already got. Um, you will get upgrades later on. Um, Pulse Spitter is always a good one, and Scatter Blaster, as far as the shotgun version is concerned, are always good. But I found usefulness in a lot of different of these, a lot of these different items. So, but don't worry about it for now. Okay, I think we're done here. So now we can get our base really going nicely. We will put a landing pad there because that way our ship does not automatically appear where we don't need it. There we go. I was running out of running juice. And off we go. And that only took a few minutes. Let's head straight down to our base. There we go. Just a little bit of a boost to get there, that's all. Got a guy flying through a mountain range, interesting. Except that uh, matter transponder or something, I don't know. But we're gonna land over there, for now. Okay, there we go. So now, in order to utilize this, we need to have a door. Um, I will likely put the door on that side. So we can't mistake in it. So to build one of these, it's going to be here, 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 here. Nope, here. There it is, landing pad. Requires two ion batteries and ten metal plates. Now... When we build the ion batteries right now, we don't have any cobalt. But you know what? That's the great part about being right next to one of these places. Because a lot of times it's for, it, you can get some stuff for sale here. Cobalt. Let's grab it. Uh, while we're here, we'll grab that too, because we can always use more of it. Metal plates. There you go. 10,000. And there's your metal plates. You can get microprocessors here. You can get some more uranium here, which is very handy as well. So I'm so glad I came here. Put that in my ship. Let me just take a look. How much uranium do we have? We got plenty of it. And if you need any more components, uh, I think we already took money from there. You come to this technology dude back here, and you can purchase a lot of them here too. Again, microprocessors. You can get antimony housing, wiring looms, the whole nine yards. You'll notice I can't get any phosphorus here, so... You know, not much I can do there, but I can get some exosuit upgrade charts. Pretty cool, huh? And you know what? I didn't check for phosphorus in here, did I? Nope, didn't see any. Okay. Not the richest system in the world, but it is what it is. Okay. So now let's put in our door, which I'm going to put it right in the middle right there. Uh, right here. Okay. That's brilliant. Did a great job there, didn't I? There we go. Much better. So there's our door. Alright. 
And now we can build our landing pad because we should have everything except the ion batteries. I forgot to build those. We need two. Uh, let's see. One and two. There we go. Landing pad, here we come. Now I always like to pull back a little bit so I can see which way it's positioned. It should be right where my door is. I like to have the, you see they have the terminals on the right hand side there. And that should be it. And you see it's all lined up with your door perfectly. So when you land at your landing pad, let's pull our ship in. And you'll see why I positioned it this way. There you go. And when you get out of your ship, you'll be getting out on the right-hand side, and you can go straight into your door here. So there you go. And it looks kind of nice that way. Now it'll no longer appear in the middle of my base every time I teleport to my base here. How about that other item I got? Remember that one? The floor switch? Requires 25 ionized cobalt. So let's go over here and put 50 cobalt in here. And we need 25 ionized cobalt, right? And we're going to build that floor switch here. So now I'm going to turn it around like this. Well, you know what? It really doesn't make a difference. Let's spin it back the other way. And see if we can't line it up a little bit. It's having a problem with the placement for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, there it goes. All right, so there it is. Now let's do the wires. So we're going to take it from here. And we'll put it in one side, and then take it from here and put it back in there, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to delete this wire there. So you see my... it's on because I'm standing on it? There you go. You now save yourself power, and you can see that you're not pulling any more juice from this anymore. See? And there you go. You are now being more efficient. But I hate these looks of these wires, don't you? Do we have any gold on us? Because one thing we really need to do... Let's see if our starship does. Yes, we do. we got plenty of gold. Okay. Is we're going to build a wire hider right there. Our cloaking unit. We need one metal plate. I'm going to go ahead and just make it real quick. Uh, we'll just leave it here. It's not a big deal where we put it. And we are going to... I didn't mean to hit that button. We're going to use our terrain manipulator and dig a small hole here. And we're going to put the electrical cloaking unit down inside the hole. And we're going to change this to filling it all back in. So the wire hider is down in there, but... It's hidden. So what happens to our wires? They're all gone. You don't have all these blue lines plugging around anywhere. Last but not least, we have our medium refiner. Needs 100 magnetized ferrite and 5 dihydrogen jellies. Now we got the jellies, we just need the magnetized ferrite. We need 100 of it. To get that, we need pure ferrite. That's only going to get us 89, but let's go ahead and start it up. And we should have enough juice left in our little portable unit here, which I think we already have one on board ourselves, do I? Do we not? Yeah. So he will be quickly eliminated from being useful to me, unfortunately. And we need 22. Yeah, we don't want to split it again. There we go. 22 pure ferrite, which we're going to turn into 11 magnetized ferrite. Done. And now we have enough to build our medium refiner, as you can see. And we are going to put this... let's put it over on this side. And I don't like that it always faces backwards. I'd like to see the front of the unit. I don't know why. Okay. And this is now our new refiner. And we go into this refiner, we can put anything we want in it, and you see it doesn't require any fuel. Plus, you can combine two items together. 
to produce something more of something else. Um, I'm trying to think of an example. I think it's dioxide, and you see that produces that. I think dihydrogen? No, it isn't. It's oxygen, maybe? Carbon? You can experiment as well. See, you get frost crystals when you make that. Isn't that interesting? So that just gives you an example of what you can do. Um, but yeah, you can get other items as well. So there you have it. And that is what that's used for. So I think that created everything that we really wanted uh, in our inventory. Let's complete out, except for the electromagnetic generator. I just wanted that because now I have it in my inventory. I can use it later on when I get a survey device, but we'll worry about that another time. So while we're here, let's go ahead and meet our guy over here. We're going to finish this particular part of our journey. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Except the glass. So he gave us the technology or the ability to be able to make glass from frost crystals, and we just learned another way to make frost crystals. Isn't that interesting? Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Carvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The Overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. We accept. Toilgek uh, Ritoa is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all for just a handful of chromatic metal. Okay. Black chromatic metal. Wait a moment. Once it catches up. Hey, look, we got chromatic metal. See? And any moment, the little icon appears. There you go. And now you can continue with your journey. There you go. There you are again, traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials at this time. The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such thing meetings. I ask who paid for them. Let's try that again. I'm really stumbling here. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. I do not know what they're talking about. The overseer asked me for the chromatic metal. Let's give the chromatic metal. Perfect friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. And now we have the plans to make that. Well, again, we're going to need magnetized ferrite. But we have littered the universe in our greed traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I should use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Well, Gek Ritoa is reflective for a Gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? Whatever their motive, the Overseer claims that it will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Except, You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. And with that, we know exactly what we're going to be doing in our next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching this episode. We're going to go ahead and end it here. It's just a little bit beyond the hour. But we thank you for watching. And uh, by all means, hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next episode one week from today. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody.